So again, we're just going to look at some basic applications uh, and using our methods to solve application type problems. All right, so solve the following exponential equation, find the exact answers, and then the approximate answers. All right, so suppose, suppose the value of 2003 to Toyota Corolla is given by the function v of t equals 14,000. 0.93 raised to the t, where t is the number of years since its purchase, v of t is the value in dollars. What was the Corolla's initial, initial purchase? So initial purchase price would be the amount it was worth. Initial always means time zero. So we want to know what the value is at zero. And so this is just take zero, plug it in, or recognize that that's the number out front. So the initial purchase price was that $14,000. So in 2003, this Toyota Corolla, its value was at $14,000. All right, times zero. That's how much they purchased it for. How long will it take for the value of the Toyota Corolla to reach $12,000? So how long will it take it to drop by $2,000? And so how long means we want the time? Well, the time is in the exponent. We want to know when the value will equal the 12,000. And so I've got to take this equation, set it equal to 12,000, and solve for time. So 12,000 equals my 14,000 e, not e, 0.93 raised to this t and solve for time. And so this is where we have to use our methods that we did before. All right, so Isolate the term with the time in it, so divide by the 14,000 on both sides. All right, that 12 divided by 14 reduces down to the 6 over 7, right, out of 2, equals our 0.93 times time. And then I need to get the time, unbury the time, and so I'm going to use the natural log. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. And I'm going to do that because I can pull my t out front when I do that. So I'm going to get the natural log of 6 sevenths equals t times the natural log of 0.93. Divide out by that natural log of 0.93. And so t is exactly the natural log of 6 sevenths divided by the natural log of 0.93. And then I find the approximate t. So take the natural log of 0.67 divided by natural log of 0.93. Comes out to 2.124 years. So approximately two years. If we round to the whole year. All right, so it's going to take it about two years to drop by $2,000. All right, next example. All right, the world population in billions during the year X can be modeled by the equation 7 times 1.01 X raised to the 2077. Solve the equation for that. Symbolically, predict 8 billion. All right, so that's what the equation is standing for. I want to know what year... So X represents the year, so I'm going to kind of write this out. X is the year, so X is the year. We want to know when we reach 8 billion, so they've taken P of X. They actually set it up for you, so it's kind of worded weird. Um, but this is a problem I did take from the book because I thought it was worded weird. So they've already set it up. This is what they're asking for. In what year... Will the population reach 8 billion? So they've already kind of done the setup for you. So 7 times 1.01 raised to the x minus 2, 2011 equals 8. And then solve for your x. So first thing, divide out by the 7. So I'm left with 1.01 x to the negative 2, 11 equals 8 divided by 7. All right, so this one's going to be ugly. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. Because i got to get that pulled out front. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that out front. And so I get x minus 2, 1, 11 times the natural log of 1.01 equals the natural log of 8 sevenths. And then solve that ugly. So this one's going to be ugly. So divide out by that natural log of 0, 1, 0. 
And so I've got x minus 211 equals the natural log of 8 sevenths divided by the natural log of 1.01. 1 .01. Add 2011 to the other side. And so x is exactly the natural log of 8 divided by 7 divided by the natural log of 1.0. Remember, you can't simplify that. You have to leave it. Natural log of 8 sevenths separated divide by natural log of 1.01 1 .01 plus 2011. All right, so that's exactly what x is. And then, and then you find the, the approximate. So x is approximately 2024.4197. And so if I round to the whole year at about 2024, about almost halfway actually between 2024, but rounding to the whole year, in the year 2024, the expectation based on this model is that we should reach 8 billion. All right, one more, I believe. In developing countries, there's a relationship between the amount of land a person owns and the average daily calories consumed. The relationship is modeled by that formula uh, C of X, which is the amount of calories. X is the amount of land owned. Determine symbolically the number of acres owned by someone whose average intake is 2,000 calories per day. All right, so we want to find the X, the acres, owned when our calorie intake is 20,000. All right, that's our calories. And so you take this equation, set it equal to 20,000, and solve. All right. Not 20,000, 2,000. All right, first thing, isolate the natural log. So subtract that 1925. And so this is 75 equals 280 natural log of x plus 1. Divide by my 280. Leave that fraction exact, so either leave it 75 over 280 or reduce it to 15 over 56. All right, don't, don't round until the very end, right, because we want exact answers. And so I got need to get rid of the natural log. Well, remember, the natural log is base E, so I'm going to take both sides and raise it to the base E. So I'm going to take E and raise it to the 15 over 56. I'm going to take E and raise it to the natural log of X plus 1. And again, I did that because I undo those two things. They're inverses. This side's going to leave me with the X plus 1 term. This side's still going to be E raised to the 15 over 56. That doesn't leave. That's exactly what it is. And then subtract 1 from both sides. And so X equals E raised to the 15 over 56 minus 1, that's exactly what x is equal to. And then we go ahead and find the approximate answer. And so we get our e term, raise it to the fraction, and subtract 1. And so it comes out 0 0.30716. And so if I round a couple decimal places, it comes out to 0 0.31 about, so about 0 0.31 acres. So that finishes up chapter five. So we're all through chapter five, uh, which would take us through all of the weeks before Thanksgiving break. And so once we get back from Thanksgiving break, we're going to hit a couple of sections from chapter six and then the final exam, right? And so we've only got a week left of classes and then the final exam. So chapter six and the final exam.